Hey everyone, I'm just here real quick to show you um, a project, a project that I've been working on and because no one's here at home and I don't get the twins today and so I got to come in here and do a little bit of crafting. Actually I have something painting, drying outside but I thought I'd come in here and do this real quick. So I picked up a die from, from Spellbinders and it's a diamond. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is so cute. The price wasn't all that cute. and um, But they had a sale. They had a sale going on. It was 50 something dollars for this die. And it was a diamond. And I love my diamonds, even if they are just made out of paper. <laughs> so it's a diamond. I got in here because I was excited that I get to... Um, I get to have some me time, so I um, came in here, cut it out, glued it up real quick, and I, I didn't glue it perfect, and I embellished it, and I didn't really embellish it all that perfect, but I wanted to embellish it before I showed you guys. So I put um, some of these um, blings, I cut it up into strips and some pieces, and I just glued the tip of it, put some really pretty um, trim I picked up from Hobby Lobby when... Their trim's on sale for half off. And this is 8 yards for $1.99, but I I know I got it for half off. I never go into Hobby Lobby unless that stuff's on sale that I want. Now this, I don't know where I picked it up. It's 4 yards. It's really cute lace. I want to say I picked it up at Tuesday morning, but that doesn't look like a Tuesday morning tag, price tag. So I used that around the top of the diamond, and I Velcroed it the top. So it can have a closure because I want to stick goodies in there. You, I could actually glue it and just leave it like that and do what the package has on it. The package is just looks like it's sealed. So I could do that, but I didn't. I decided to um, leave it where the person that receives it can open it. And I was thinking, you know, I could also use this for Mother's Day. You know, and fill it full of my mom's favorite treats and put it in there and, you know, make a really pretty basket. So I thought that was, this is a really neat die. And I also can punch a hole in it and string some up and probably use vellum and maybe put lights. That was um, one thought that ran through my head. Something I could do for my granddaughter. She loves her gems. So that would be really neat. So I just wanted to come in here and show you. I could even um, put like a little um, cut out, put her on like a little stick and kind of pop her up in there, you know, and have like, like the goodies come out of the gym like that and stuff. If I wanted to make the presentation all cute and stuff. Anyway, that's just an idea. But I did really want to come and show you the die. If you guys are interested in the die that I use, it is a Spellbinders die. And... This is what the cover looks like. Now, I had no idea when I ordered this die that it was going to be so big. And um, it measures like 11 and a quarter by 8 and a quarter, the packaging. And um, I got it on the Spellbinders website. And that die was not a cheap die, you guys. I hesitated for a second, but because it was a sale, buy one, get two free, I went ahead and got it. And along with that die... I ended up getting the little purse, and it's a huge die, too, in this little canister um, die. So, 50, it was 50-something dollars. So, 50-something dollars for these big steel roll dies. I think that was a pretty good deal. But anyways, so that this is my chair. And it's a pretty good size diamond. I mean, it fits in both of my hands right here, and it can hold... I'm pretty sure it can hold a lot of stuff. And this is just lace and pearls. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for participating in my challenge. And those that don't, it's okay. It's okay. Anyways, bye-bye.